What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay. So it's time for a trade, guys. It really is. It's time for a trade. So, I may have mentioned to you guys in Pokemon Fire Red and maybe Pokemon Crystal towards the very end, maybe the beginning of this uh, this walkthrough right here, that I have been playing quite a few games off screen, like Red, Blue, Yellow, uh, Leaf Green, and uh, Ruby and Sapphire. All because I wanted to start trading Pokemon into the Visual Boy Advance, and, well, this is our second trade right here, ever, in the Visual Boy Advance, and I will be trading with Pokemon Sapphire, another game that is very fond to me. There are two Pokemon that I want to trade for, two Pokemon that, well, I mean, <laughs> let's face it, one of those Pokemon I won't be getting until way, way later on, and then the other one until way, 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 way later on. It's not even fair. So what's going to happen right here is we're going to go straight into the trade area. Everything is connected, and we're going to be trading right here, and both games are going to be uh, saved right here into the game. I'm in Marvel City in Emerald and in Slateport City for the other ones, and yes, we are we are linking up right here. And we're just waiting for Sapphire, and BAM! Okay! So take a look at this, guys. We're both here, and I am controlling both games right here. Alrighty. So let's get this uh, whole link going. So, as you guys can, t can see, I kept some of the Pokémon that I actually had in Pokemon uh, Emerald, the original version, like Swamp Lord, Gaia, Skyblade, and all that stuff. Now, the two Pokemon that I actually want to trade for is both a Metatite and a, a Bagon. Why? Metatite has always interested me, and since I'm using Sage as a starter, I might as well have a Psychic slash Fighting type Pokemon. It's always interested me. Now, it was either between that Pokemon Metatite or a Beldum, the one that I got in Pokemon Ruby, and I know many of you guys would have been like, no, that's you're making your team OP, this is not. Don't do it. And well, I kinda I, I kinda I kinda thought about it and I was like, okay, well maybe I should use uh Beldum later on. Quite possibly in Pokemon uh, Alpha Zapfire when I start playing that game. As you guys can see, I nicknamed both Meditite and Bagon, Dalsim and Hadouken, mainly because, you know, during that time too, I was actually playing Street Fighter. So what's going to happen, guys, is I am going to be trading for both Pokemon, and you guys can't see the other side of it, but I am actually doing the same thing right here. So we're going to be trading for both uh, Wormple, or Dalsim, the Meditite, and Bagon, the Hadouken. Pretty good nicknames right there. So here we are, guys. We're going to be trading these Pokemon. Look at this, guys. We are actually trading. Holy biscuits. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure many of you guys are liking this. Holy crud. Now, as always, the link will be on the description below for the video on how you guys can actually trade Pokemon via the Visual Boy Advance. Obviously, I don't want to... I can't show you both screens right here because it's a little lopsided and all that stuff. We're going to be showing you the main one. And there we go. We got ourselves Dalsim, the Metatite. And... Well, we're gonna be we're gonna be going for the next one right here. Let's go. So let's go right ahead and trade Poochyena for Hadouken, the Dragon type Pokemon. And uh, well, let's go ahead and trade that. And you know, obviously we're trading with ourselves by ourselves. So if you guys are trading through via the Visual Boy Advance, just make sure to have the Pokemon in the same in the same slots that you will be trading for each other because, again, you're controlling both games at the same time. And, well, look at that. Okay. We are trading. And there we go. From Pokemon Zapphire to Pokemon Emerald, here we have Hadouken. It's a pretty good nickname right there. It really is. Alrighty. Okay. So let's go right ahead. So I know that there's going to be a little bit of an issue going, uh, getting outside of this. So I'll be right back with you guys with the two newest Pokemon on our team. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So yes, we have accomplished it. We have traded for two new Pokemon. 
Let's go right ahead and take a look at our two newest, uh, newest uh, team members, Dulcim and Hadouken. As you guys can see, Metatite. You won't be able to get this Pokemon until you get to Mount Pyre, and uh, yeah, Mount Pyre is a long ways away. Long, long ways away, but it does have the ability Pure Power, which raises its attack. And as you guys can see, it does have considerable stats. I believe the Sassy Nature will affect its special defense and its speed, so just be aware of that. And it does have some pretty good moves, Detect, Hidden Power, Mind Reader, and Calm Mind. Now here we have Hadouken. Yes. The Bagon. Now this Pokemon right here, you won't be able to get until later, later on. I mean, I'm talking about Waterfall later on. This guy, you can find in the Meteor Falls in a little secret entrance. That's how unfair it is to capture this Pokemon. It is a lonely nature, does have Rock Head that prevents ro uh, recoil damage, meaning, you know, like, takedown, double edge, all that stuff. It won't affect it. Yes, we, we hit the lottery with this Pokemon right here. And as you guys can see, it does have pretty good moves as well. Leer, Headbutt, Focus Energy, and Ember. Alrighty, so it looks like to me... Then we're gonna be having some pretty good, uh... We're gonna be having some pretty good, uh, the battles right here. Now, in this adventure, we... Yeah. We won our third badge in the last episode. Went to the second road, Verdant Turf, and all that stuff. And now, it is finally time for us to move on ahead right here. Going up north to Route 111. And we're gonna be battling some Pokemon trainers. This is my favorite kind of Pokemon. Show me how to put a little uh, excitement into my life. Okay, alrighty, so... Now, here, here's a little here's a little bit of an issue, okay? So, both my Pokemon that I just got, they are considered a little uh, overpowered right now, mainly because we are... what? We are, like, close to... Oh, we, we, we just won our... What was it called? Uh, we just won our third badge. The limit is level 30, so... Right now, Hadouken and I believe Dalsim won't be able to do anything as of right now. So we're gonna be waiting. We're gonna be battling sparingly. We're gonna be battled. We're gonna be battling them sparingly. That way, we can actually, you know, like eventually see them grow, evolve, and all that stuff. Yes, I know. Getting them right here, right now, is kind of a kind of a dumb mistake. But you know what? My walkthrough. Kind of want to do it like this. That way. We get ready for what's ahead, and bam, Roselia has been defeated, and bam, we have defeated these two people. Yes, I took a good look at your Pokemon, and they were not good at all. Okay, so let's go right ahead and move on ahead at Route 111, and there's going to be a lot of double battles right here, and, well, let's see. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be powering up two of our Pokemon right here, because there's another Pokemon that I do want to capture later on right here into this walkthrough. And, well, let's see. Got to find the perfect way. Let's go like this. Okay. Did you come from Mauville? Then you should be full of energy. Uh-oh. Well, you're as famished as I am. There is no room for pity. Well, it kind of sounds like, uh, like Mr. T right there. I pity the fool. Okay, so here we go. Picnicker, Bianca, and Kindler. Hayden wants to battle, and here they come out with some pretty good Pokemon. So let's go with Venom and Seablade right here. Okay. Alrighty. Venom. Let's go with Sludge Attack and Seablade uh, right here. We're going to speed it up just a little, as you guys already know. We're going to... We, 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 we're trying to get this uh, through right here. That way we could use those two Pokemon that we got. And, bam, we defeated them, of course. And we get ourselves an Elixir. Now, the next thing that we have to do right here is talk to this guy. I challenged the win straight family, but four matches in a row is tough. Going, or tough going, they destroyed me. They did. And as you guys can see, this is a new addition to Pokemon Emerald, and it is the tra Trainer Hill entrance. Scale the weights, or scale the heights, you hot-blooded trainers. This right here is kind of like a prelude to the Pokemon, uh, what was it called? Uh, the Battle Frontier, which, you know, you guys are trying to convince me to do. So, if there was any anything that I would do, if there was any uh, any battles that I would do for a preview, in a sense that you know, let's go ahead and try these Pokemon out before they start disobeying me. Let's go with the Winstrip family right here because eventually we're gonna have to put these two Pokemon back, maybe 
right after, like, you know, we take care of Flannery and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and check out the newest Pokemon. Let's start off with Dalsim and then Hadouken. So here's the Windstrip family. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. How's this? What do you say taking on our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? Sure, why not? That's the spirit. I like you. And here we go, taking on the Winstrip family. And, well, Winstrip Victor coming out with a Talo right here. And let's go with Dalsim. Of course, this is a weak, uh, a weak attempt and everything. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Hadouken. And, oh my god, here we go. Hadouken, ready to go. And here comes a wing attack. That doesn't do so much. So let's go with an Ember attack right here. And Talo, still still getting its butt kicked right now. So here we go, let's go right ahead. And of course, we're battling in regular time here, guys, because the Winstrip family is, they, they are a little bit important to this whole thing right here. So this episode, of course, is just to show that we are trading for two Pokemon that we desperately need. The next episode, they, they will be in the, in, the, in, the, in the PC. That way we don't overlevel ourselves, and that way we don't go through the troubles of like, oh, well, they can't, uh, yeah, they, they, they won't listen to us. So there we go, headbutt for the win. And there we go, boosted experience points. And just like that, Hadouken has grown levels, or no, has grown experience. So he's like, hey, all, I found a pretty good strong trainer. Okay, so here's round number two. Oh my goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite the trainer to beat my husband, though. It's my turn to battle now. Okay, so here we go, taking on Winstrip wife Victoria. Oh wow, I, I do see the I do see the significance of the name right here. Now here we have the hidden power technique, guys. This depends on a math equation. And it is super strong against uh, grass type Pokemon, from what I can see. Or poison type Pokemon. I don't know, but there it is. We're getting our energy drained. And the Winstrip family here, obviously, they've equipped their Pokemon with some pretty good berries. So here we go. Hidden power yet again. And just like that, Roselia has been defeated. Okay, and here is a boosted uh, experience points right there. As you guys can see, it's just like the experience share. Except, it's from another region. <laughs> There's a strong trainer here! This one is, this one's really strong! Okay, so here we go. You're stronger than Mommy? Wow! But I'm strong too! Really, honestly! Hmm, I wonder what her name is. Victoria number two, Victoria three, Victoria's Secret, who knows? And her name is Vivi, and she will be coming out with a Meryl right here. So let's go with Dalsim. Of course, the nicknames. Yes, the nicknames, uh, yeah, I, I was playing Street Fighter, I was playing Street Fighter with my niece, yes, Aaliyah, and, uh, she kind of beat me quite a few times, it's been a while since I've played it, and I've noticed that how competitive, uh, Street Fighter can be, I've seen some videos and all that stuff, and holy crud, I thought to myself, I might as well nickname some of these Pokemon, uh, after some Street Fighter characters, obviously, Meditai kind of reminds me of Dalsim, since it is a yogi, sort of kind of Pokemon. Dalsim 2, the only thing missing is that, you know, it doesn't stretch. So... <laughs> and then Hadouken for Bagon. It's probably because it's gonna be a Dragon-type Pokemon, like a, a powerhouse of a Dragon-type Pokemon. So, I was like, well, screw it. It does throw some Hadouken-like kind of moves, so, yeah. And here we have Shroomish. Let's see if this uh, Calm Mind or this Hidden Power works on uh, pure, uh, pure grass type Pokemon. And it does. So as you guys can see, it is super effective. And here comes the Stun Spore. Obviously, I am the king of getting paralyzed. And... Well, we're going to get absorbed. Holy buckets. And we got our uh, energy drained right here. So here we go. Hidden Power for the win. And there you go, Shroomish has been defeated. Yes, okay. And well, she's gonna be coming out with a Numel. So let's go straight for Hadouken yet again. And Hadouken is looking pretty cool right here. Again, guys, it's not really cheating if you can cheat. Or no, how should I say? It's not really trade it's not really cheating if you can trade your Pokemon, because I've always tried doing this. 
never knew how until I, you know, went to YouTube University and seen the videos of how to do it. As soon as I found out that the, vi the Visual Boy Advance that I had can actually trade, bam, there you go. We're going to be trading, and I'm going to be featuring it. And as you can see right here, Grandma's like, how dare you make my granddaughter cry? For that, I'm going to smack you. Prepare to lose. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and take on a Vicky, the Windstrip Vicky, and she's going to have herself a Meditite herself. See, this is totally unfair, guys. One of the Pokemon I really want to use, you can't really get, and it's the same way with the other one. Okay, so here we go, Hadouken, and here comes a Meditate attack from Meditite. <laughs> okay, Meditate. Let's go with a Headbutt attack, and here comes a Detect. Yeah, that's definitely going to work right there. All right, let's try this again. Headbutt attack. And of course, a detect is gonna be on our cases. So here we go one more time, headbutt. And just like that, we nearly beat this guy, but this this chick is trying to boost up the, the, the attack for her Pokemon right here. So let's go straight again, headbutt attack. And there you go. Dalsim and Hadouken grow experience, and there we go. You're strong, my granddaughter was right. Yes, she was definitely right. So, she's telling us, if you're not in any hurry, visit us a while. Okay, whatever you say. So, we're going to be taking a visit to the Whitstrip family right here. And, well, you're the first trainer I've seen who deploys Pokemon masterfully. But I should tell you, my son is stronger than you. He even took the Pokemon League Challenge, I'll have you know. Oh, and there's no question that you're strong. But if you were, ba if you were to battle my grandson, you'd end up crying in frustration. He's much stronger than any uh, trainer our family knows. He must be challenging the Pokemon League champion by now. Knowing my grandson, he could be the champion already. Mm, I wonder if he is. Talking to her, she's like, Mommy's stronger than Daddy, but I'm stronger than Mommy. And Grandma's stronger than me. But my big brother is stronger than even gra Grandma. Now, if you talk to Mama right here, she's going to be like, We use the Macho Brace to, uh, to more effectively strengthen our Pokemon in training. Since you've beaten all of us here, I don't know if uh, you need it, but we would like you to have our Macho Brace. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves the Macho Brace. For those who like EV, IV training, Macho Brace is pretty much the way to go. It actually helps out with your strength and all that stuff. And, uh, well, the only cost is, is, is your speed. So, that's a big, big, uh, big takeaway right there. Anywho... This has been, uh, you know, a short episode. I just wanted to show you guys a trade, and then after that, go ahead and battle the Winstrip family. Like I said, we're going to be putting our, tr our two traded Pokemon back into the PC after we defeat the fourth gym leader. Or, no, 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 no. Let me let me say that. We're going to go put the Pokemon that we traded for in the PC. We won't be getting them back until after we defeat Flannery, because, well, they grow one more level each, or one or two more levels each they're gonna stop dis or they're gonna start start disobeying us and all that stuff so it's kind of something that we don't want to go through again so stay tuned guys in the next episode we will be having a lot of fun we're gonna be capturing some new Pokemon we're gonna be you know going through places speeding up some stuff and then uh, taking on some uh, criminal syndicate and all that stuff so thank you guys again for watching if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel Click on the heart button right there below. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.